Champ. Wire 96.3, it's Ryder at 9.10. I've got a very cool interview coming up. Uh, Mitch and Gabriel are driving across Canada, and they are stopping at radio stations along the way to meet as many radio people as they possibly can. Uh, they're both looking for radio jobs, and this is a very interesting way to do it. I had to go into the bathroom with my current boss and turn off the lights to get my job. Wish I would have thought of their idea. More of the big show coming up on Wire 96.3 hungover and like I'm here by myself watch the sun come up at five o'clock in the morning with a coffee and I don't think I'd rather be anywhere else yeah like yeah. and it's silly because it's days like this you should hate I took my shoes and socks off and just opened the phones all day just talked to people it was yeah it was awesome man. well that's when you know yeah. you're doing you're doing what you love right yeah when you don't mind coming here at the wee hours yeah on the bad days <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Um, I would recommend if there's ever a decision of whether to go to a small market for a, a position where you're going to get to do a lot or a big market where you have to start quite small to do this do the small market mm -hmm. absolutely yeah, um, yeah. And like, i don't know how many breaks i fucked up <laughs> along the way in bonnieville and in lloydminster and uh and it, i'm very thankful i had the opportunity to do them in markets like that where people are pretty forgiving totally like they're they know what you're there for right they know yeah. you're there to learn and get better people kind of jump on on your bandwagon a little bit and it's it's this is a fun vibe about small town radio um be aware of how small the business is like it's so easy to burn bridges would be my so don't like and it's so easy to get into trash talking other people behind their backs and and it all catches up because it's such a small business. Like you guys will realize it more than anybody else by the time you're done this trip. But everybody knows everybody, so um, that's what I'd say. Off air would be my best suggestion. Just don't get involved in that bullshit and like Puget Sound yeah. and like making a f alias and trash talking other hosts and just stay away from it. Yeah. It's just, it really is the toxic side of the industry, is jealousy, and that's what it all comes from, stems from. Find a good boss is my other suggestion. Um, I've worked for a couple really good guys and a couple guys I didn't like all that much, and uh, the difference is astounding. Mm -hmm. So uh, more than a station you like, more than a city you like, try to find a PD you like. Find out what their expectations are. Like, I will never go through a job interview where... I don't ask like, okay, how much can I get away with? And f like find those things out. Totally. Cause you could end up in a job with totally know what you like, tanks the business and you're out. Which yeah. happens to a lot of people. Yeah. Or you're fighting not to be yourself and that's right. hard then to. Right, then it sounds lame. It sounds like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it yeah. sounds unnatural and. Yeah. Awesome. Pretty badass. <laughs> <laughs> Down with Webster, what was me, 927, it's the big show, it's Ryder, beautiful way to kick off your uh, May long weekend, unless you just got a ticket, Ontario Ave, heads up, there's a check stop. Uh, Alright, we've got Mitch and Gabrielle in studio, Gabrielle? Gabrielle, I yeah. said it right on practice. Yeah, you, <laughs> uh, you guys are a part of Radio Trip Canada, well no, not a part, you are Radio Trip Canada. We are, we definitely are. Mitch, tell us about it. Well, uh, we are fresh out of school, from broadcasting school. Um, we both went to different ones, and we are noticing that it's not super easy to get into this this business. So we decided to uh, pack up my Mazda 3 with, nice. to the brim with stuff and just head across the country, hit up as many radio stations as we can, like this one here, and uh, meet people and hopefully get some jobs. Yeah. How many are you at now? Oh. I think we've hit maybe 19 or 20 at no stage way. 6. Yeah. yeah, we're only day six in. That's sweet. Have you met some nice people? Amazing people. Yeah. This business are like. There's such a wide range of people too. It's really nice to be able to compare and contrast and, and see what's working and what's not working so much and really have like a a full view of the industry. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, a lot of alcoholics. Have you met a lot of them yet? Some very interesting <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's people. Yeah, very eccentric people. We don't for need sure. to label them. As <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's awesome. Now, uh, you guys got a blog where people can check out and they can follow you on Twitter. Uh, give me the details. Where can people find that? RadioTripCanada.com is our website. That's our blog. Um, and you can follow along. We post videos almost every night and uh, keep you all updated. Um, 
our Twitter is Radio Trip Canada, at Radio Trip Canada. We also have Facebook, Radio Trip, we've got everything, so just cool. definitely check out our website. Yeah. And that can direct you everywhere. It can, absolutely. And while you're there, uh, we are looking for some challenges, some roadside challenges, because we have 9,000 kilometers to, to occupy our time. Yeah. And, um, let's just say the drive today, for example, to Winnipeg is going to be a little, a little dry. Ten it's a ten hours. hour drive. So um, if you have some challenge, challenges, shoot them our way. Do we'll you have do them it. For us, right? Sure. I, okay, okay uh, you guys are trucking. It's ten hours. You've got a piss jug the entire way. I'm not sure if you guys know what that is. It's probably going to be a little tougher for you, Mitch. You've got no a bit way. of it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I have to pee so much on this trip. That would be Super convenient. Our, that would be super convenient. Our car already reeks. I don't know if we need, need that. I'm just Do you have kidding. A backup plan? Yeah. Backup What's your backup challenge? challenge? I, I don't have one right now. I'll think of one though. Okay. Uh, I lived above uh, the X grounds on a scaffold last year for seven straight days, and I realized getting down was taking too long, so I PJ'd uh, for the whole time in like 37. That's what I got to. I bet you guys could beat that. Probably. Wow. Come on, Mitch. Oh, that God. is impressive. We'll see what we can do. We'll, uh, while we're driving, that, that could get interesting. I have one more uncomfortable question. Okay. Um, we lost my co-host here a few weeks ago, Brandy. We actually met her, yeah. believe it or not. You guys were in Edmonton at her station a couple yeah. weeks ago. Was she in bad mood and stuff? Oh, she was miserable with that. She, we could tell. We could tell. Yeah, yeah. I, I bet she misses it. <laughs> yeah. uh, but we were going to do a... A Father's Day contest called Brandy Sucks Balls. And okay. uh, you bob for golf balls in a kiddie pool. Um, I don't want to do it because I don't want to have to say Ryder sucks balls all the time. <laughs> uh, I'm just wondering if either of you would like to take part on your way back in our Father's Day contest. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah? You got both suck balls, maybe? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> we need to get a job. Whatever it what? takes at this point. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> okay, they're in. Ah, yes, the return of Sucks Balls for Father's Day. Coming up on The Big Show. <laughs> she sold more than 25 million albums. <laughs> okay. What's <laughs> 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 Yeah, whatever. We'll do it.